Hey everyone, this is Stellar Firefly with an updated version of how to use custom DLCs or CDLCs in Rocksmith 2014. This tutorial is specifically for the PC version of RS 2014. So those of you with a Mac, PS3, or Xbox version, I don't have RS 2014 for those platforms, so unfortunately I can't help you out there. But I'll have a link in the description for you to find instructions for your platform. And just as a quick note for PS3 and Xbox owners, because a lot of people have asked me about this, I've heard that your console needs to be modded for you to be able to use CDLCs. But more than that, I couldn't tell you myself, so check out that link. So first of all, where can you get custom DLCs? Customs Forge is the new go-to place for all your CDLC needs. You don't have to sign up for the Customs Forge forums to download and use CDLCs. However, I do recommend that you register for the forums. It doesn't cost anything, it's an open community for CDLC enthusiasts, and probably most importantly, it's a place where you can go if you have any questions or if you need to get some help if you encounter any CDLC related problems. For Rocksmith 2014 to be able to recognize custom DLC, you'll need the infamous dx3dx9 underscore 42.dll file. You'll, need, you'll find a link to it in the description. Simply download this file and then place it into your Rocksmith 2014 folder. See later in this video for how to find this folder, if you don't already know. This method works for about 90% of the people who try it, but for some unknown reason, some people can't get it to work. If it doesn't work for you, then instead, download the rocksmith2014 underscore patcher.exe file. Again, there's a link in the description. Place it into your rocksmith2014 folder and use it to launch rocksmith2014. If the DLL didn't work for you, then this exe file should work. To download the CDLC itself, just fire up your web browser and head over to search.customsforge.com where you may use their excellent search page. For this demo, we'll search for Canon Rock because, uh, yeah, I had some, um, copyright issues from just playing a little small clip from my last tutorial video. So anyways, once you find the song that you want, just click on the download icon to go to that song's record page. There, you can find out all sorts of info on that CDLC, including two things that are very important for this tutorial. First, the package ID, which we'll get to later, but for now you can just note that it's set to Smashing Pumpkins Cherub Rock 248750. And also, second, its download link. For now, just click on the download link, and then depending on upon how the file is provided, just follow the instructions that you see to download it. That should give you a file with a .psarc or .psarc extension. And that is your custom DLC song. Now sometimes, as you can see for this song, you may see different files available for download. If so, then the one that ends with an underscore p.psarc is the PC version. The one that ends with an underscore m.psarc is the Macintosh version. The one that ends with a underscore ps3.psarc.edat is the PS3 version, and the one that ends with an underscore Xbox is, obviously, the Xbox version. So make sure you download the correct version for your platform. After you've downloaded the file, you'll need to move it into your DLC folder beneath the Rocksmith 2014 folder. If you bought RS 2014 through Steam like I did, then you could find it underneath Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Rocksmith 2014, then DLC. If you bought RS 2014 separately, then you can find it wherever you told it to install. Most likely just underneath Program Files x86, Rocksmith 2014, DLC. So just move the, CL the CDLC that you downloaded into that directory. Okay, now comes the tricky part, or at least it's tricky for people who are doing this for the very first time, but you'll see that it's actually really simple. Remember when we saw the package ID back at the song's record page? It was set to Smashing Pumpkins Cherub Rock. The important thing to remember here about CDLCs is that each song has a package ID of an official DLC song. In our case, that package ID is for the Smashing Pumpkins Cherub Rock. The key is that you must own that DLC song for your CDLC to work. In our example, for the Canon Rock CDLC song to work, we must already have purchased and installed the Cherub Rock official DLC. Now, if you already own Cherub Rock DLC, then you're, you're actually all done. The CDLC you just installed should work right away. However, if you do not own the Cherub Rock DLC, then all hope is not lost. 
The catch is that you have to own at least one official DLC song for any CDLC to work. If you haven't purchased any official DLC song at all, then I highly recommend that you buy Smashing Pumpkins' Cherub Rock, because the huge majority of CDLC will have their package ID set to this song. The reason for that is because back before RS 2014 was released, people who pre-ordered it were given Cherub Rock for free, and so a lot of people already have it. Now, it's perfectly okay to buy a different official DLC song, so if you're not a Pumpkins fan, and you find a different official DLC song that you'd rather buy instead, then just go ahead and buy that song, and follow these next steps. And if you already have an official DLC song, but it isn't Cherub Rock, then these next steps are for you too. Okay, if you've made it this far, you have a CDLC, but its package ID does not match the official DLC that you bought. To fix this, you'll need another software package, called the Custom Song Toolkit. To grab the latest version, just head over to www.rscustom.net and download the latest version. As of this video recording, the latest release is version 2.5.0.0, so we'll grab that. Extract it to any folder and launch the Rocksmith Toolkit GUI.exe file. Then, go to the Packer slash Unpacker tab and look at the App ID Updater control group. First, select RS2014 from the first dropdown. Then, find the official DLC that you own in the second dropdown. For example, let's say that we purchased System of a Down Aerials, so we'll select it here. The ID number in the third field will change to match what you just selected. Finally, click the Choose DLC button and navigate to and select the custom DLC whose ID you want to change, and press Open. And that's it. After a second or two, it'll tell you that it's all done and you should be good to go. Learn a song.